Oh, this looks like an interesting puzzle. Hey guys, Silver Praetorian here, and let's just get this out of the way so we can move right into the next world. And that's over there, and this is the corner piece. So, uh, I kind of feel bad that, I don't know, it doesn't seem like I've been making that much progress overall in these videos, because, like, Especially as it gets on to this point, it might be like one jiggy per video or something. And that just feels like it's moving really slow to me. And I, I, I know, admittedly, that when I looked into this, I saw other Let's Plays of this game that were like 80 videos, something like that. And I think that was back when you had the 10 minute time limit. So, I, I don't know. I know this is going to be a long one. This is like my 33rd video something like that. So I'm aware that this is going to be a long series, but I get the feeling it's going to start picking up pretty soon, just because once we get all the power-ups, it's going to be a matter of just cleaning shop, and that won't be too bad. And now to wait for the great and powerful Jiggy Wiggy. <laughs> I still can't say that name seriously use his power to open up the next world. And maybe see if we have enough empty honeycomb pieces to get an extra bit of life on the way there. Speaking of which, I got a comment suggesting, suggesting a way to get an empty honeycomb piece I saw and then forgot about, which I considered going back for it now, but I decided to has just to hold off on that and get it when I go back to finish off. Um, Grunty Industries. I keep kind of calling it Witchy World. I don't know why. It is obviously not Witchy World. Anyway, that's done. And yes, we have enough jiggies to open up the next world. Alright, so let's just go over here and um, head over to that world which we just opened, which... Yeah. Actually, wait. I said I was going to see if I can get another piece of life first. So first we're going up to the plateau. And I said first a lot there. I noticed that if I'm not paying attention to what I'm saying, I will say a words repeatedly. Like, anyway. I can say anyway six times and not even realize it. Like I think I pointed out in one of the videos, or at least in the comments for it. Or description, rather. Alright, seven, and how many do we need? How many do we need? Honeybee, yeah. Yeah, we already, we already know this, honeybee. You have enough. Awesome, we have enough for one extra unit of life. Of course we want it. I die easy enough as it is. I really like trading hits. I, I don't know why. I suppose that's why I'm not too good at a few games, like... The Mega Man games can kick my butt just because I like to trade hits too much, and you can't really afford to trade hits unless you're able to hit them like a truck, and I think it's harder as the games go on. And, ooh, what? No, no, that, that's not. I thought those notes for a second. Disappointment. Alright, um. I did bring the dinosaur to the train when I was in. Yes, I did do that when I was in Pterodactyl Land. So I think I can do this right now before we even go in there. Freight service to Grunty Industries. Yes, I would like the Chuffy to pick us up. And then we can just... I think we'll be able to get to the Globo now, so we can just take care of this now while we're here, and I won't forget about it or anything. And then next time we head over to... Pterodactyl land, we can just take the dinosaur back home, and everything will be right in the world. That's just one thing I kind of like about this game, how interconnected everything is. And I suppose I did not even realize this, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this at least twice now, but I never realized how big this game was until I started doing this Let's Play of it. I mean, I realized it was a long game, fairly interconnected, but I never realized... I'm at over nine hours of gameplay right now. And I I'm, know I'm, I'm not playing as efficiently as I could, but I'm still not doing a terrible job at it. Um, where are those? Where are those? They're not down here. Are they down here? 
And let's not fall off the edge. Uh, switch. Oh, this switch will open up the um the thing there so we can actually get over there. I see. And then the globo will be over there. So then what do we need this, the um claw climber boots for? I'm gonna O C D about this. Let's find out. I'm in the area. I haven't actually entered the world, which is Hailfire Peaks, by the way. One of my more liked worlds, I say that now, let's see if I say that when I leave. Alright, there's the boots. It well, it was a matter of time. Uh, why can't it put me back at the thing with the thing and the thing? I wonder how many Cheeto pages I have. I'm not going to worry about that now. Alright, up to the cliff top. I swear, every time I go to the cliff top, I can't do anything without falling off at least once. For a really stupid... Oh yeah, that's right, this comes out right here. Alright, so let's walk across without falling off. With... okay. Get more notes, because notes are awesome. Climb up here to get the globo kill you because you are a jerk and I still hate you with explosives. Alright, I am content. I still hate those things. Claw climber boots and let's see if I can get over to where I need to use them without dying. Which is an exercise in itself. Especially with the camera angle changing like that mid-run. Alright, gotta run up here and what is up here? What is up here? A Jinjo! Another black Jinjo. Which brings our total to five black Jinjos. We have almost half of the black Jinjos. Alright, let's just cure that dinosaur so we can get into the world and move on with things. Because this video has already been going on for like eight minutes. Somewhere in that area. And over here, give it to Mumbo. I do not like how long these cutscenes take, but they definitely are not the worst in length. I've... I mentioned a while back that I beat Skyward Sword, which I mentioned then at the time that I loved the game, it was very good, but it just drags on and on and on at times. I mean, Ocarina of Time was pretty short and to the point. Majora's Mask did take a little longer to get into things, but short and to the point as well. Twilight Princess took quite a while to get into things, and Skyward Sword is just worse than that. So it's like every Zelda game, it's just getting slower and slower, and I don't like that. Alright then, hope this works. And we are healing the sick... I'm not gonna try to pronounce that word, because I cannot pronounce words. We already know this. Is he gonna lift that card off, or is it just gonna heal it? Are we gonna get a shot of the inside, I wonder? Yes, we are. And he is now being healed. So now we're just gonna have to take him home at some point. That'll probably be in another... 10... 12 videos? I don't even want to think about it. Because I'm going to be going back to the worlds in order, so it's going to take me a while to actually get to him. Oh, come. Zap it. I love the sound effect they make when they're getting zapped. It amuses me greatly. Alright, so now that that's done, let's actually head into the world and see what we can do. Hellfire Peaks was, at least half of it, was originally intended to be in Banjo-Kazooie, I believe. Um, with the reference to the fire world, or lava world, and the volcano area, which leads up to Mad Monster Mansion. I believe that was supposed to originally be a entrance hub area for the one half of Hailfire Peaks. Which, I can understand them taking it out due to time constraints and everything, but it's nice that they were finally able to put it back in. And, let's just see. Yep. 
Hellfire Peaks, let's see, what moves do we learn in Hellfire Peaks? We learn one of my favorite moves for Kazooie in here. I'm gonna see if I can find that right away. I don't remember where it is. Oh yay, I wonder what we're gonna have to do there. Well, I already know. That train station does not look very safe. Alright then, so... Cutscene over. Do I have control yet? There we go. And there's a split-up pad right here at the start. Nothing else here at the entrance exit. And... This world actually has two bosses, not just one, which, it's different, it's not bad, it's just different eggs. I need more explosives. Explosives. I don't remember whose tent this is. I know we meet that character eventually, but I don't remember, we can't go that way. Alright. Hey, I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano. I'm gonna burn your furry hide. Oh crap. Oh, what's this? Ow! Ow! What's this? Warning, trespassers in the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked. I see a banjo switch down there. Um, um, I like not dying and there's like fireballs and fire everywhere. This world becomes a lot more... a lot kinder as you take Wow, really? Um, ice? I think ice eggs are going to be our friend here. Yeah, I think ice eggs are t ow, definitely going to be our friend in here. We could just wait them out, though, and save our eggs. Ooh, Mumbo Skull. Mumbo Skull, once again, thematically fits. And I bet this is the Globo, and I should not have tried that. Oh no, wait, the globe was down here, so what was up there? Oh, that was convenient. Oh yay, we can fly around now. What the? Oh, yeah, globo. So, we're going to... We're going to have to take care of that thing. That's just going to be a pain in the butt. Ow. Anti-air denial. Okay, so we have time. Let's get into the air, and... Get out of here before he hits us. Alright, let's see if we can find him first, because getting so fireballs aren't raining down on us constantly will make this a heck of a lot easier for us. And you can get a pre quick preview of the world while I'm heading up to take care of him. I think this is where we have to go. It would make sense. And once again, when you get high enough, the music disappears. I like that touch. And we're gonna want a uh, knock grenade. And the door gets sealed. Chili Billy, hot and spicy dragon. Uh, at last, you must be the pizza delivery. pizza delivery boy? The local Jiggy Hunters. I bet you got my 12 foot spicy meat special in that backpack. Alright then, so, um, let's. Oh, what's this? Okay, so we shot an egg out of that cannon. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm still set to the ice eggs. Well, considering I'm fighting a fire dragon, I suppose that makes sense. I'll soon have you lick. Ah, what? Oh. That's not good. That's a horrible pun, by the way, and mildly disturbing, but... And now we can fry him again. Oh, no. Uh... Clap. Just, just clap. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, now we gotta get back over there, and this, that, and the other thing, and... Man, I'm failing a lot. Why do I fail so hard when I'm playing this game? I blame the Let's Player's Curse. Alright, so we can... Alright, impatient. Nope. Eh, you know what? 
I'll just wait it out. And one more. No, two more. I forgot about you. And he's miss pissed off at us again. And I did not... I'm taking care of him. I'm getting back up there and taking care of him. Okay, so that's the fireball. I can hopefully get out before that. What's up here? What is up here? Up here there is... Really, that's all it is? Well, now I know. I just want to take care of that dragon so we can explore this side of the world without having to be fireballed. Wait for it. Or not. And let's get up there as quickly as possible. And I really do like that they doubled your eggs for Banjo-Tooie over Banjo-Kazooie since you do spend a lot more time in the air in this game. Like in Banjo-Kazooie, it was just like a curiosity for the most part. You would use it for a few jiggies, but overall it wasn't used too terribly much. In this one, you can fly in uh, pretty much every world and you use it fairly extensively. Hi there. No, we don't have your pizza. I do like that each and every one, or the bosses have a... Oh, come on. That the bosses have a... Oh, what am I trying to say? That the bosses have different uh, dialogue for if you fail against them and you have to come back. Alright, so let's keep running. And hit him. And we're gonna have to do this. Oh wow, did I? Oh! Okay, let's, let's not fall to our death again. That would be bad. That would be very bad. Ow. Alright then, that would be very, 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 very bad. So let's just get to this and double hit. And he's... Hey guys, back with take three. Stupid crash. At least we don't really lose any data because of how often this game quick saves. So that's a nice little convenient part. And let's see if I can't get the double hit. Oh yeah, we can't use that. We have to use ice. And we can get a double hit on him because the ice eggs are his elemental weakness and we were playing elemental rock, paper, scissors. And now we just want to jump back and forth and avoid his tongue and then get behind the cannon again and just shoot it. Oh, I only got a si mm. Oh, that cannon- oh, the cannons only get three hits each. Okay. So... Each cannon can only fire three big eggs, so we just need to run over to another cannon now, and I suppose we might as well just use this other cannon up, since we only have... Oh wow, we're get no. Um, did we? No, it's the cannon's still there, okay. So it will only take three actual hits. Each cannon can only get three hits. So now if we just quit here, we can get the final hit. And we have to wait for the cannon to fully deploy itself. And he is down. And it didn't crash this time. Hallelujah. Now if I've changed my mind, forget the pizza, but I'm sure my brother will still want his. Yes, like I mentioned that... Oh wow, Th that body just amuses me. What can I do? Give you a couple of Big Al burgers. Um, like I mentioned, this is a double boss here. We must defeat both bosses on each side. You can see the ice... Ice Volcano just somehow doesn't sound right, but you can see the ice one over there, which we'll have to defeat once we go over to that side. I'm not going to worry about it now. Anyway, this video has been going on long enough. Now that we have free reign to explore the fire side of this level without being rained fireballs down on, I think we're going to do that next time. So, uh, uh... This game just loves to see me fail. Is this a work pad over here? I am content. Alright guys, next time we continue to explore Hellfire Peaks. I will see you guys all then. Later.